if you are looking for um, other sources to get your fabric different kinds or you just want the experience to be able to go in the warehouse and look at so many different blends and so many different textures and colors i definitely would recommend this place right here all right guys so i'm making this quick video because it's a vlog i'm going to one of the new um fabric warehouses i think it's been open i don't know probably about a year and i want to show you guys some behind the scenes uh, i am scheduled to go live in about 30 minutes which is when i'll get there but i actually wanted to like do a whole vlog because i'm gonna be covering different things and i can't be live the entire time so if you are looking for um other sources to get your fabric different kinds or you just want the experience to be able to go in the warehouse and look at so many different blends and so many different textures and colors i definitely would recommend this place right here because they have a wide variety of selections and it's just freaking huge so kind of make if you're into fabric like we are that's in the draping world or you could be a seamstress whatever it is you do but if you're in, into fabric like that be prepared to kind of be in this spot for a, a while um because one is it's just is huge and when you're in there if you're creative like we are so many different ideas come to mind guys so again keep watching this video so i could tell you guys and reveal exactly where i'm going and then show you guys what's my process like when i'm in when i'm going to a fabric store like what where do i go straight to what areas i look for how do i make my circle about all that good stuff right so keep on watching <music> All right, guys so it's a quick stop at uh, one of my storage units i had to pick up some fabric uh, for an order but uh th this my goal it's not really a lot left in here guys compared to what was in this one unit right here my goal because my renewal is i think next weekend so i have a goal to get this shut down um this week because this is really not a lot to get rid of it's, it's really not so the beauty of it is, is, is uh, some of my premium fabric, which is the taffeta. Like people love taffeta and they love velvet. So I'm thinking about just doing a sale like every day this week for some, a different kind of color, maybe a different blend. I don't know, to just kind of get rid of this one unit so I can at least shut this one down, start working on the rest of them or getting it out so I could put more stuff, um, organize it home in my garage. That way I can have easy access to it. Um, Cause yeah. I could easily get rid of this. So I think that's gonna be my focus for this week. So I'm gonna get what I need, then keep on moving to the fabric store. I just put us a little bit behind schedule, but we can talk. And I don't know about y'all. Y'all know I always gotta try something. <clears throat> if you ain't had the, the, the black and chicken sandwich from Popeye's, you missing out. This sandwich is so freaking good. Unfortunately, they gave it to me spicy. I ain't want it spicy. I wanted it regular. But nonetheless, we were hungry. I had to eat. So here we go. Um, so soon as I come in, I always go straight to right here, Jersey Knits, right here, right in the front. And this is like the different patterns, different colors. I got to touch it, feel it. I already know that Jersey Knit is going to be the uh, stretch blends. They got some new, some new ones. This is pretty. Got some new colors in. Um, 
So, I, you know, I, I don't really have to touch it as much because I already know the blend. I'm mainly looking for uh, patterns, colors, anything that kind of stand out to me. And on average, it's about $5 a yard, which is pretty much the going amount. So let's just say our panels are, our stretch panels are $18, I believe, and they're 12 feet. So if you get, <coughs> if these are $5 a yard, you get four, you write at 20 bucks. And it's unsewn. So again, we beat the price right there. But we don't have this variety. Definitely don't have that. So they got me there. But um, this is like, I could be in this aisle for a while. I'm getting inspiration. I'm putting things in my head. I'm getting different design ideas. Um, so yeah. Let's go to another section. All right, so I was going live, but it kept messing up my reception. So I'm just gonna continue with this vlog. Um, the main thing I was covering in the live is like, if you're coming into these uh, fabric warehouses, you definitely want to first, before you got kind of get caught up in, in the craziness of all that's here, you kind of want to go in the back if they have like a clearance section or something like that because nothing is wrong with the fabric it's just they probably trying to make space or they just want to get rid of it it could be last you know like last season blends or whatever the case may be but for what we do it could be perfect for you know what what it is that you actually need so always go to the back to kind of see what you could take advantage of back there and then work your way to your most inexpensive blends first which is going to be your ity jersey knit um right now i'm looking for some chiffon i think i'm on the right path um any kind of voyeur uh, you know like sheer blends if you're looking for anything like that um this is pretty they have some uh really nice crush oh this is nice it's like a crush blend and it's not that this is really pretty but they don't have a lot of colors um but yeah if you're looking for like your shears definitely come check out your voyeur section I don't see a whole whole lot of different colors but uh okay here we come coming into the color just be mindful that the shears do have different blends like chiffon they have the pebble chiffon which is a little thicker they have the um crinkle chiffon it's just different kinds of chiffon um but if you see that it's inexpensive this is pretty and this is like really not that see-through I don't even know what color this is, but I like it. Like this is not, this is opaque, guys. Like this is not even see-through. That's pretty. Um. So yeah, kind of be mindful of that. Oh, they go another roll. That's really pretty. So this must be the higher quality chiffon because it's not really um thin. I like it. So check out some chiffon, guys. Um, the velvet. They have a lot of velvet only thing about getting velvet from like these kind of facilities is going to it's going to cost you a little penny they on average about eight dollars to twelve dollars per yard so just kind of be mindful that be ready if you know if you just know that that's going to be your price point um let's see what else they got down here this is pretty this is like a mustard normally if i'm getting velvet i stick with the crushed velvet Definitely not these though, because they are they are really cheap. Not this one. Like be my, you know, you gotta touch it. Like in order for you, if you don't really know fabric by just looking at it, you gotta touch it to really see the quality and you know just how how um the, how good the quality is. It would be a heavy. It'll it'll be heavy. On average, our panels are like three three pounds, right? premium velvet the inexpensive velvet is like a pound and a half it's not heavy at all it just gives you that look like this is a this is a good piece of this is a good piece of velvet compared to the other one all right so this is pretty i kind of i like that that would go really nice with the slate blue really pretty um what else yeah see that's not that's not great quality right there um the velvets the shears 
the spandex and understand your difference between ity and spandex like i did a video i don't know maybe a week or so ago um explaining the difference like spandex is a lot better quality it has more stretch it's just it has a sheen to it it just looks like it costs more money and it does cost more money um but jersey knit does get the job done oh this is cute kind of like a this one implement a, so i don't know a gender reveal possibly i don't know but for the most part this is it like look for your jersey look for your patterns as well like the stretch fabric definitely come and look for the patterns and this is where your creativity won't kind of just come to life you'll see a pattern and then your eyes will be drawn into certain colors and then before you know it you got yourself a whole design and if you want to experiment with some accessories by all means go ahead this is your world you can always add like i have a, a lot of students that add these kind of tassels to the tie back this is pretty and boy do this look premium so that's really pretty um you can add trim there's just so much you can do to kind of help your design stand out you can do different kinds of trim um i was looking for the little tassel piece not those the tassels i just showed you but it's like some other um uh, wait what hang from your curtain i don't see it but i know it's here because i've seen it but anyway this is like just a quick video to kind of give you guys some behind the scenes on what I look for when I come to fabric stores, what I'm feeling for, I'm feeling for texture, I'm feeling for density. Are you enjoying the tips that I'm sharing with you thus far? Well, guess what? I have so many other tutorials that's right here on YouTube on the inside of my membership program. All you have to do is click the button below that says join and get instant access to dozens of tutorials that you can watch from the comfort of your own home. Hope to see you guys on the inside. I'm feeling for texture, I'm feeling for density, I'm feeling for like the weight of it, like how heavy is it? Because I know the heavier um, the is going to give that look that it is, oh this banjo, I don't, I don't do banjo at all. It's going to give that, that premium look, right? So just kind of be mindful of those. And main thing, main key part is go in the back guys, go in the back. That's where a lot of, um, oh these are pretty vibrant colors. And I don't really do chatang. But guys, look at this. I like that color. It has like the ombre. This would be really pretty to put in the backdrop. Like really pretty. Oh my God, I got my I guess I'm just because. And like even experimenting with the glittery patterns, like getting away from your standard um, spandex and just giving it like the metallic sheen. People do that as well if you're not just you know if you don't want full um sequin you could always use that but like these metallic blends are really pretty this is like an orange burnt amber and got some touches of gold that would be perfect so i gotta get what i came here for like a break take the young into work so guys i hope you found this video to be helpful main key things i want you to take away is this is pretty See, I keep getting distracted. I'm sorry, y'all. But look at this. This got like the, look at that texture. And it ha it's a two-way stretch. It's not a four-way, but it's a two-way. I definitely would put add that in. And look at this. This is pretty for like a, a boho theme. Hold on. I got to get off here so I could get my thoughts together. <laughs> what am I getting? All of these little mauves. That is so pretty. Oh, my God. I forgot what I was saying. Quick recap. If you come into the fabric stores go in the back right you definitely want to go in the back because you may luck up and find some jewels back there go to your shears go to your spandex jersey knit velvet um what else did i say ity spandex and just kind of look for the up look for the other blends and just see how it feel in your hand if it feel real loose then go with it especially if the price point fits your pockets go with it um but if it feel real stiff don't go with it unless you know what you're doing if you know how to man manipulate the fabric then go with it if you don't don't jump out there just yet that's pretty all right guys so i found the trim so 
just not the store I was at before I don't think because the trim normally in the front but it's in the back and it's just gorgeous so get creative by using some of this y'all like look at this this is gorgeous Ooh, and it's heavy though so you don't want nothing too heavy but get creative that's what it's all about all right I'm going for real this time I gotta take my daughter to work so I got my fabric that I needed I uh, actually got some um, I actually got some denim fabric guys I've been looking for denim fabric for a very long time it's either been the wrong color or it's been the wrong texture because denim come in so many different textures and I didn't want the jean jean that's like has no stretch like the old school jean and which is what I kept finding I kept finding that or I kept finding the jean that looked like um I don't know it looked like not, it don't even look like linen it just looked like some cheap fabric so I found I looked up and found some jean fabric so for next month I think because I've been wanting to do this backdrop for a minute so for next month I think the one I'm going to do is the denim and diamonds backdrop I've been wanting to do that for quite some time but it's been so hard to find the right jean or it's been extremely expensive so here it was almost ten dollars a yard which is expensive um but um I, I got a little trick to the trade i'm gonna show you guys though you, you guys that's in the membership on that level to watch the live tapings the tutorials how to get the most out of your fabric and not have to buy a lot i initially probably would have had to buy um a no about four i would have had to buy about four at least but realistically five panels of um or five yeah five pieces of fabric that were at least four yards long but I was able to cut that in half so if you are interested in that uh, how does if you are interested in that tutorial be sure you one join the membership upgrade your level or stay in the membership all right all right guys so that's it for this video I pretty much covered everything I wanted to cover in this quick little vlog running to the fabric um, store I may be going to the flower shop this week not too sure i got a tutorial that i'm doing i'm taping on thursday for you guys that's in the membership and um that's actually is like a crisscross pattern i've been wanting to do for quite some time but i just also got in my round circle canopy well not circle but the the one that people use a lot of back uh, balloons on but i'm got i got a different design that i want to create for that so it's it's either going to be the the crisscross pattern or the round circle backdrop i'm gonna go home and make sure i have all of the pieces for the crisscross i know specific things i'm going to need so i'm first going to see if i have that and if i do then i'll go ahead and do that one and save the circle um i might just go ahead and have to tape that because that's actually a sponsored video and just get the tutorial i'll give you guys access to the tutorial for what you know for one of your months so i don't know i'll see how how i get that done i also i, I got i gotta see how big it is um and make sure i got enough space because if not i may have to rent the studio and go into an actual studio so that's it guys that's all i got for now if it's like i said you got some ideas or something you would like to see exclusive in the membership only let me know put it below this video and let's see what we can get it on the schedule thank you guys